this section is about how to download exchange rates and uh, where to check in the settings if the conversion is set uh, automatically in case you want to use it. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to do is go to settings, account settings. You will see there's a drop down menu for exchange rates. And you will see the second row that says automatic exchange rate conversion. Now, normally during the implementation phase, this uh, has been decided, but it can happen that after go live, you decide that you want to use uh, exchange rates that are available in batch reporting. Then you just go in here, turn it on uh, as yes, and say submit. Okay, now how do you actually get the exchange rates? You go to settings, exchange rates, and you can retrieve them online. Uh, the source of the exchange rates are coming from four places. One is uh, the European Central Bank's daily exchange rates. The other one uh, is the Czech National Bank, uh, the Polish National Bank, and the Swiss uh, Federal uh, Bank's um, ex daily exchange rates. So I'm going to just, you choose the date from and to that you want to download. You click, you click retrieve online. Again, you can see the dates set here. You can change it anytime. You can also remove exchange rate that were exchange rates that were already downloaded. You just say start import, and it will just run through until it's done. This might take a few seconds. And as soon as we have the exchange rates, uh, we will filter on some random ones just to see that they have been downloaded into the system. Here we go. Now we can see right away that uh, the start date here is the 11th of uh, July, just as we said, and then you can go through it's 271 pages, but you can filter on, let's say, Euro to USD or the other way around, actually. Um, USD to Euro. And then I would like to see the exchange rate so you can see that they're all, all available um, within the system. 